Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get to the Meteor Hacked client for Minecraft 1.20.2, which is currently the latest version that they have available. So first we're going to need to go to the MeteorClient.com website, we're just going to scroll down and hit Dev Build 0.5.5, 1.20.2 is the update, so we just click this. It'll give us a little 5 second delay uh, before we download, and then it will prompt us with a save location. I'm just going to save this to the desktop. After we've done this, we can cross off the Meteor client and we can go to the installation for Minecraft, which is the Fabric installer, uh, which is fabricmc.net slash use slash installer. If we just go ahead and hit download universal jar, this is going to download the jar, jar file version. If we hit download for Windows, it'll give us an exe. I just prefer running the jar. If you do not have Java installed, th this is going to cause problems and your file is going to look white. So if we have these two files here, as you can see, they don't have the little coffee Java logo. And you can normally just fix this by right clicking on them and going open with and then selecting Java. If Java doesn't pop up as an option, you may have to install it first and it should pop up as an o the default option for .jar files. And we're going to just go ahead and hit always use this app to open .jar files and OK and that will change them to the little coffee logos should load the default latest version and we're going to want to make sure that create profile remains tick and that the, the version is set to the same version of the client which we're using so if we just go ahead and hit install it should be pretty fast it'll give us a little window that says fabric installer 1.20.2 has been successfully installed let's go ahead and hit ok we can cross this off now and we can just delete the fabric installer. We don't need this anymore. Next we have the Meteor Client. Uh, so if you click this, not much is going to happen. So we're going to have to click Windows key and R. And that's going to give us a little run prompt window if you're on Windows, which this tutorial is for. And we're going to go ahead and type percentage app data percentage. Uh, just in case you didn't see what I wrote there, I'm just going to try and zoom in. Percentage app data percentage. Sometimes that can trip people up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And that's going to give us the open to the .minecraft folder. So we're going to go ahead and double click on the .minecraft folder. And for your first time installing a mod like this, there is not going to be a mods folder in here. So what we're going to do, is we're going to right click and we're going to go new folder. And then we're going to name it M-O-D-S, mods. Very short, uh, very short and simple. We're going to double click on this um, and we're going to drag the Meteor client into the mods folder. Uh, and once you've done that, you're done. That's everything you need to do to install the hack client. You can then go ahead and boot your Minecraft launcher. I have just the old legacy launcher running here, uh, which is just for Java. This is a Java client. If you want Bedrock clients, there are Bedrock clients out there. Zephyr and there's, um, there's other ones. Horion, I think, is another one. And it should default load you with a new fabric loader if you've left the create profile ticked when you ran the installer. So now we should be able to just hit play. I wouldn't recommend really hacking on any server that doesn't want you to use hack clients. Like if you're going on t 2B2T, um, then well, who cares? That's that's an anarchy server. You can you can do whatever you want. Uh, just know that if you do use this, you can definitely induce a lot of anger uh, in people if you use this wrong. Uh, so to open the the Meteor hacked client, you're just going to want to press the right shift button to enable a hack you left click on something which is just your normal click that you use to break a block it's how you toggle it on and off you just click it once and then click it again to turn it off right click which is like the place the block button then it'll give you extra options and escape is to get out press escape to get out again a few little minor things there is a top tab here there's modules config gui hud friends macros and profiles the only one you really need to worry about is modules um yeah that's pretty much all you need to know Anyway, that's just about it. It's a bit of a long one, eight minutes. That's probably more time than I would normally spend explaining this. It probably could be explained a lot faster, um, but I just wanted to be a bit more thorough in this one. Uh, so yeah, that should be everything you need to know. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Goodbye.